At the beginning of the 2000s, we completely purchased civilian aircraft abroad. But even then, the president made a historic decision. Russia had to restore the creation of its own machines and had to restart the industry, develop competitive liners that in market conditions would become more attractive to carriers, that is, would consume less fuel, would be comfortable and reliable, would cost cheaper than competitors. Step one for this decision. To solve this problem, we used Soviet resources and maximally involved foreign partners in cooperation. Why couldn't you immediately take developments from CCCR? Yes, it's simple. Our plane did not pass the standards that allow flying to other countries in terms of noise level and fuel emissions. Since the collapse of the Union, they have become obsolete, including. According to the parameter of fuel consumption, so-called Americans, French and Japanese Italians, who else Germans and specialists from other countries did the most difficult thing? We have launched production in Russia of the aircraft themselves and many components of which there are hundreds of thousands. We certified Superjet more than 10 years ago. Now it is very important to exclude the imported component of parts and technologies in its production, which our engineers successfully do. Last year, the engine Padar 14 and a wing made of Russian composites for the MC-21 aircraft were certified. Next year, work will continue on localization and increasing its production volumes. As a result of sanctions, we were banned from supplying anything foreign. But as far as the restrictions were concerned, they only accelerated the revival of Russian aircraft manufacturing, including domestic landing gear, engine, avionics, electrical composite parts, materials, and many, many other components. Of course, everything is not easy. There are also questions about the replacement of foreign components. But we'll be all right. Our engineers, designers are working hard on this. I am sure that you will also be able to make your contribution in the conditions of the station. We are placing sanctions on the flows of modernized IL-96, IL-114. They are equipped with advanced onboard systems. The latest engines are developed for them, meeting all modern requirements. By the way, the engines were originally on the Superjet 21 too. Russian, French, and Canadian units were installed. The French stopped servicing them, and the Canadians stopped supplying the engines. So, we accelerated developing our own engines, PD-8, PD-14, and PD-35. They completely cover our needs in the turbofan motor sector. Well, the most important thing is to ensure reliability. And for us, this is the most important thing. The government is setting this task for industry. Only such units should be operated in civil aviation. That's all for today. We create a complete line of machines. We need a country that will gradually enter. The series is short and medium haul aircraft and the new Superjet and MC-21 and regional IL-114 and Ladoga. Also for local airlines is the Baikal plane, which is being developed to replace the legendary corn plane. Who remembers there too, finally, then the main six future tasks, priorities for the industry were formulated by another native. From Podolsk near Moscow, the famous Soviet aircraft designer Oleg Konstantinovich Antonov, the creator of the liner in the series, he said that it is not enough to make aircraft at the level of world models. We must be ahead, and you and I must strive for this the most promising direction for the development of not only the traditional line, but unmanned systems of supersonic civil and electric aircraft, as well as convertible planes and airliners for local airlines, which are capable of vertical takeoff and landing. Our scientists' main task should be creating advanced technologies for modern systems of onboard and ground equipment for hybrid power plants. Over the next few years, it is planned to develop and test demonstrators of a hybrid electric powertrain using liquid hydrogen. Due to the low temperature, it will be possible to increase the power of its electrical components almost 10 times.
While maintaining the mass size characteristics, the government will continue to deal with all issues of the aviation industry within the framework of the existing state program. To launch a series of a wide range of models, what I said about new cars, this is simply necessary to replace Boeings and Airbus. Optimization of routes within the country for the convenience of citizens and stimulation that is very important, regional aviation, which will connect sparsely populated areas. The president tells us this all the time. We are also restoring domestic civil helicopter manufacturing. The market, of course, is much smaller, but the requirements here are also narrower. These include ensuring transport accessibility to remote settlements, the needs of our industry, including, by the way, in Arctic conditions, as well as carrying out sanitary and protective measures. Now, on the basis of Soviet reserves, we are in the process of creating the most modern machines for various purposes. This is also multi-purpose, light ANSAT medium, MIA 38, heavy MIA cost 71 series, specialize this to 32. Further success is ahead.